Good morning, everyone. So this is a video idea that I've had in mind for quite some time now. I'm just gonna try it out. I'm gonna vlog my day, document my day as a little day in the life of a college sports broadcaster. So just very quick before we start the video, if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Zach Bianco. I am the play-by-play -play announcer for Westfield State Athletics. I do play-by-play -play for the majority of the home games uh, tonight we actually have a basketball double header tonight 5 30 p.m is the men's i am actually uh, scheduled for camera for that video and then the 7 30 game is the women's i am play by play for that so i'm gonna document my day from the time i wake up until the end of the games and basically the whole like setup of the broadcast, stuff like that. Again, I go to Westfield State University, small college, about 5,000 people in Western Massachusetts. So yeah, let's get rolling, I gotta get changed. I got one class today, and then actually my girlfriend is coming up to visit, say hi, and also to check out the games as well. So it's gonna be a really good day. Um, only have one class, like I said, in the morning, about an, I have that class in about an hour or so. So yeah, let's get started with the day. It's game day, let's go. Now I usually also wear a hat during the day just to cover my awful hair because I need a haircut so bad, but today I'm gonna clean up that hair. I'm gonna gel it up today to make it look good, so let's go. Also just wanna give you guys a quick tour of my room. It's pretty big and by myself in here, but God, the view I do have is incredible. This is the view of the main campus. Lord, thank you for another beautiful day. It's supposed to be sunny and in the 40s today. And also here is my PC setup that I use to edit all of my game highlights, things like that for the athletics department to monitor setup with the tower PC. And then I also can't forget the Xbox to play video games, but this is the setup that I have currently. And then I actually have the actual laptop that I use, you know, during the games to get all live stats and things like that. And the one class that I told you guys that I had this morning is actually a sport class. It's called Sports and Media. And this is a textbook that we use. It's actually a very interesting class. Alrighty, enough rambling. Let's clean up the hair. the best but it will do here's all done let's get you a view of the suite so here is the view of our suite that we have in a six person suite and here's our view from the living room window there's such a spectacular view on this beautiful day here at WSU I am all changed up now we are going to get some breakfast. I actually have breakfast here. Actually in the mornings always get a nice water and I'll probably have some Pop-Tarts this morning. All right, so I got my water right over there. And for my Pop-Tarts today, I chose S'mores, because let me tell you, S'mores Pop-Tarts, the greatest Pop-Tarts of all time. Now, if anybody is interested in looking more into Westfield State Athletics, just visit westfieldstateowls.com. It'll bring you to the athletics page with a bunch of news as well as upcoming games. And here are the two games that I have tonight. You will also be meeting my video guy and my color commentator. So 5-3 men's basketball against Fitchburg State. And I got, I've got i got the video for this game. Women's basketball at 7 30. I got play by play for this game. So, what I will do is for the game that I have play by play for, I'll go and take a look at some of like the depth charts and the roster for us for Westfield State and also for our opponent in this case, it's Fitchburg State. So, we'll go through and get 
familiar with the names and how to pronounce them. That's also a very tough thing as a broadcaster is learning how to pronounce the names. Just another quick note, a cool stat that I like to point out about the woman, about our women's basketball team. Go to the NCAA's uh, leaders in the country. Turn turnovers forced per game. Westfield State second in the country with just about 35 turnovers per game in 18 games. So they're second in the country in turnovers forced per game. And we are also second in the country in steals per game, both behind Birmingham. So we are averaging just about 20.3 steals per game. That's 0.3 behind Birmingham. So second in the country in those two stats, which I think is pretty cool. All right, so we are off to class. Got the game day fit on clean white shoes. Um, if anybody doesn't know the major in communication, concentration, and media arts and analysis. Walk into the elevator right now. So yeah, we're off to sports and media class a little bit. My one and only class is in this giant building here. It's called Ely Campus Center, the center of campus that's got the library, the gym, a bunch of classrooms, a TV studio, a radio station, a theater, anything you can think of. Dunkin' Donuts is actually in this building as well. It's probably just about 40 degrees outside, so it's really not that bad out today. Definitely could be colder for January, but walk into my first class. Starts at 9.45, it's currently 9.30, so get there in a few minutes and get ready for class. Here's the radio station. I am out of breath by walking all those stairs. Here is my department of my major, communication. Down this hallway are a bunch of classrooms. All right guys, I will talk to you after my class at 11 o'clock. All done with class. It is uh, about 11 o'clock. Uh, beautiful, beautiful day as you can see outside. Nice and sunny out. Done with sports and media, that's a very interesting class. Absolutely love that class. I love the professor in that class as well. So we're gonna head back to the dorm for a little bit and just hang out. Um, I guess do a little bit more research on uh, tonight's games. Also just wanted to point out how cool the building I live in is. It's, it's huge. Outside now, the temperature has definitely dropped. I'm outside to meet the girlfriend. She is gonna, she's actually pulling up right now. Say what's up to the vlog. Hi. Lunch time, got me a fried chicken sandwich. It's about, oh, 140. We got a little bit of a late lunch, so let's grub. Back at the room and now after some lunch, we went to the marketplace. We grabbed up some snacks, including these cakesters, which are my favorite snack of all time. Right here. We are on the way to the games. Let's do this. I got my chauffeur here.
Okay. We have arrived, and you guys saw the clips from down there on the court, but we have made it. There's my color guy, Nick. And we just got finished through like setting everything up. Here's the play-by-play -play and color table. And then right over here is the camera. And, and as I said before, I'm on camera for the first game. And then the second game, I am play-by-play. -play. So we're just pre-game, we're just gonna be hanging out and talking. Here is my view for the basketball game. There's Pittsburgh and there's Westfield. We are about 36 minutes away from game time. Here's the headsets that we use. And again, I'll use my laptop for when I do play-by-play. -play. And here is the big audio rig that we use for sound and stuff. And then the camera's on the other side of this wall. So during the actual game, I actually have to do my work. So I'm not going to include any game clips from this game in this in this like video. So if you want to go and check out the highlights from these games, go ahead. I will be posting highlights. Underway from Westfield. Lummis now taking it out to Hadlow. The Owls looking to get that quick move it down low. They get it right to Lennox in the paint. And it almost loses it. Lummis out top. Hadlow, clean look for three. Off front iron. No good rebound by Westfield. Williams throws it up. No good. Rebound by Grant. Quick start for Westfield. Two offensive boards, two points. Double team kicking it out to Sullivan. No good rebound by Grant. So we are at halftime right now. Owls leading 52 to 30. And boy, this is a blowout of a game. Owls leading by 22 points. The top scorer for Westfield, Jordan Grant. 20 points, 9 of 11 from the field. It is now halftime, and they are honoring the Fall Sports Championship teams as well as the All Conference players as well. So that's a little update here. It's halftime. Shout out to Emily for getting some game time shots of me calling. Appreciate that. She Sheldon to Gardner. That one is good. Jess Gardner now for two. 
Adler to inbound, gives it to Grant, then to Lummis. Lummis drives with the left hand floater. That one is good for two. And Lummis now has seven points. This one taken away by Williams. She's got Grant in the middle. She gives it to Grant. Grant, her two yet again. She's got 22 now. A huge win here for the Owls. They win 110 to 67. So the next game for the Owls. They are home this Saturday against MCLA. Again, for Nick Malowin. My name is Zach Bianco. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in at Home and Abroad. You have been watching Westfield State Women's Basketball on the Westfield State Sports Network. We'll see you next time. Come on, Owls. Three. Owls win both games, men's and women's. The Owls broke a school record for turnovers forced in the game with 56 turnovers. Incredible. Time to wrap everything up and head home. We decided to stop at some McDonald's on the way home. So we're in the drive through right now. We got the Celtics game on as well. It is in overtime. So overall, a really good day. Both basketball teams won. That's good, the men's and the women's. Big conference wins for them. Gonna head back to the dorm and edit and upload the highlight video for the women's game. So definitely getting tired, but we're gonna get food and try to get some energy to get this highlight video done. Alrighty guys, so with that, the day is done. We have got my McDonald's here, and I've got my computer here. Time to go through the highlights of the women's game that I called, clip them all, edit them together. The game highlights for the women's game will be on the YouTube channel. By the time you guys see this video, the highlights will already be on the YouTube channel. That will be a different video, so make sure to go and check that out. But overall, it was a pretty good day. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let let me know if you guys want me to do more of these. Uh, I just wanted to, you know, try this out and to give people a perspective on a day in the life of a college sports broadcaster. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, make sure to like and subscribe to see all West Coast State Athletics news, highlights, game highlights, things like that. My name is Zach Bianco. Peace out.